Hello, my name is Richard Claywell, and today is another episode of Litigation Speaks. Today we're going to talk about debt versus equity, and how that's classified on the financial statements, and how that impacts the value of a company. And these are things that you need to know. Most of the times, I don't see this issue being addressed. When we get money in the company, it's either going to be debt or equity. Sounds real simple. The problem with that is, is the owner of the company will get money from someplace. Typically it's from a family member or they will borrow the money from the corporation. There's never any payments going back for that. Sometimes we have a loan agreement, sometimes we don't. There's no amortization schedule. So the problem with that is we're buying equipment with this to operate the company with but the company really has not incurred any debt because there's no repayment, but we have borrowed the money. So these are some items that we need to think about. <clears throat> when we borrow money, we've got it on the financial statements, some things to ask about are, are there any legal documents for this? Did the company just loan the money to a, a shareholder? Are there any documents for this? Are there any stock certificates for this? So, so which one is it? Is it debt or is it equity? Not a really 100% clear. So we want to look at some repayment schedules that we would have. Do we have any fixed dates or no fixed dates? Actually, do we even have any repayment schedules? And most of the time, the answer is no, we don't. So that doesn't help us determine whether it's really debt or it's equity. The repayment of the debt, is that based upon the return of of the company, how much profit we're making. Again, we probably don't have any documents to tell us if that's the case, but that's something we want to take a look for. When the money's changed hands, was there any change in the ownership of the company? Because I'm giving you equity, I should get a piece of that. And that may, may be an argument from somebody else somewhere down the road. So now you have a lawsuit. Do those documents exist? Yes or no? I'm saying that they do exist. You're saying, no, they don't exist, but that's okay. That's what we have attorneys for us. So if we didn't do stupid stuff, y'all wouldn't be making a living. We're gonna look at the risk that we have with this, with the loan that we have, uh, or the equity that we have. Uh, is it a, a large dollar amount or a small dollar amount? Is it really significant uh, or is it not significant? When we have this on the balance sheet, what winds up happening is that affects the notes payable that we have, and it could affect the equity, because we don't really know which one that it is. So we want to go out and look at each of those factors that we've got, weight those, and try to determine where the preponderance of the evidence is to indicate to us where that actually goes on the financial statements. And depending on what, what the results are, it could be detrimental to your client and now they're confused because we're treating it as something that they really didn't intend to do, but there's no way to support what they've actually done uh, for that. This is a brief summary of some of the items to consider when we do, do the debt to equity comparison. <clears throat> there is a, this is a Fifth Circuit case, and it's called Freihag, I believe it is. Uh, this was done a number of years ago and actually in 2016, I wrote an article because there were 12 factors of items to consider whether an item should be considered debt or it should be considered equity. If you go to my website, www.biz-valuation.com, if you go to publications, the second item down on the far left-hand side talks about debt or equity. You can take a look at that. More detailed information on how this is done, how you would weight this, and how you would determine whether or not it's debt or it's equity. So that way it can be supported, especially if you're gonna be going to litigation, because I don't wanna be in litigation and say, you know, well, the client said it was, it was all debt, or the client said it was all equity, uh, and, and nothing's happening with it, you have no documents. So that is something to take a look at uh, for that. I think it will help you with your case. Uh, now your experts should have something that they can actually rely on. Thank you for listening. Check the links below for more information and comment below with the feedback that you might have about anything whatsoever. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.